Breaking the Ice was really a response to Australia's response to ice, which was, yeah. you know, in the view of a lot of people, um, you know, people were getting really scared. You remember that every headline was, was ice this and ice that. Mm. And, you know, someone, you know, zombie, ice zombie chews her own toes off um, was, was one headline. Um, you know, the TV ads that the government had out there of, of, of someone's, you know, picking up a chair and smashing it through the window. And it was just, it was frankly hysteria. And, yeah. and for an organization at the front line working with more kids, um, than most, um, who, who were actually, you know, coming off ice and dealing with an ice addiction, it was disturbing for us because it wasn't portraying reality. We were working with these kids and, and as most people know, someone who's, who's suffering from an ice psychosis is, is, is really more often than not coming off ice. And so we were dealing with that. We weren't, you know, we were dealing with those kids who were coming off ice and they, they're not, they weren't throwing chairs through windows. Uh, they weren't chewing their own toes off. Um, and, and, this, and, and the sad reality was, was that of course that happens for, for a, 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 a small number of people um, with, with, with comorbid conditions. But the, but the truth was, was that, was that ice was exacerbating a lot of pre-existing um you know, conditions for people. That was the, that was the truth that needed to be told. And we did, and, and to demonize people, to call them zombies. And that's what was happening. The, 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 the advertising around entertainment at the time was um, shows like Breaking Bad was really popular at the time. And so was that zombie show. What's that? That that was a big zombie show at the time. Uh, Walking Dead. Walking Dead. Walking Dead. And, and, you know, and so, our media was either consciously or or, or unconsciously, um, you know, you know, portraying these portraying what was happening in real life um, as a reflection of what was happening as as entertainment. And for me, that's disturbing. It's disturbing for a number of different reasons. Um, obviously, because it it wasn't the truth, but it also, I believe, was exacerbating. The, the issue and wasn't allowing us to help people. It, it's harder. We, we're, we're, when we're scared of someone, we generally, we, we generally find it harder to help them. Um, and, and so we needed to um, just stop, pause, uh, reflect on what was going on, understand the facts and, and, and then take a scientific approach. And so that book was us kind of throwing down the gauntlet saying, actually government, you've got this wrong you need to take a different approach. And, and, um, and thankfully Malcolm Turnbull um, became prime minister at the time. And one of his first things was um, he called us into the room. We started working together on this and, and he, he had uh, Tony under Tony Abbott, the um, there was a thing called the ice task force, mm. a really wonderful ex police commissioner, Victorian police commissioner, Ken Lay ran that task force. And I'm not sure what Tony Abbott was looking from that um, from that particular task force, but but Ken Lay and his team came back and said the national response actually needs to not be law enforcement led when it comes to ice; it needs to be treatment led. And a lot of it's about about um, how we how we work with people, both with addiction and other um, you know so comorbid issues and mental health mm. and, and poverty and so on. And Malcolm Turnbull listened to him and we had a we had a really fantastic um national response now unfortunately that that you know that uh, response has kind of been winding down a bit now because obviously other things are, are, are at play but what was happening at the time bizarrely and this is what we wrote about in the book was ice issues were were um were always were actually already on their way down. So ice use was on its way down. Um, and people, you know, I'd go and do talks about this and the, the book was an attempt to, 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 to have more space to talk about these issues. You and I, in a in a podcast over the next hour can, can kind of really get into some juicy detail. But when I'm doing five minutes, oh God, five minutes on TV would be huge. It's actually more like 30 seconds, 30 second soundbite, get yeah. across the, the issue. And, um, the book was in a, in a, you know, really an attempt to say, actually, 
here's here are the facts this is what we need to understand and this is this is our way forward and that's what it was breaking the ice was 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 how, how we'll get through the through the ice crisis and i think largely we have a lot of those kind of predictions came true we you know, ice continued to fall now covid's going to kind of throw a spanner in the works we're going to have a really interesting time i think over the next couple of years with with drug use and stuff which which mm. we can get into later in the show but but that's what that book was about was was a response to that and a way of taking time to really go through all of those different those different facts yes ice is absolutely a problem um but let's get this into perspective uh, and, and please, let's not demonise anyone. We're never going to help out them or, or ourselves by doing so. 